Reclaiming our title as the beef state, Nebraska takes the crown as the top cattle feeding state in the nation. And if we're to continue growing livestock operations, experts say technology will help farmers be good neighbors. Here's NTV's grow host Steve White with the final installment of his special report. We think the state is prime. It's hard to beat beef. Difficult to beat a ribeye steak. Welcome to the beef state. That's the sound of Nebraska corn fed beef. We already produce more red meat than anyone and some think the time is right to expand our livestock. We have the resource base here certainly to have a larger livestock industry even yet. More livestock means more manure and the potential for more odor. A government report finds the nation's largest hog farm produces more manure than the waste that goes through sewer lines in Philadelphia. The EPA finds more than half the states say livestock has contributed to water quality issues. And many say large livestock confinements contribute to climate change as well. Meat scientists say those are issues they're working on. Our knowledge base is growing rapidly and we're adding to it this uh, concept now of uh, having the production be sustainable from both the social, environmental and economic component, which is bringing light to what producers have been doing for years anyway. The USDA Meat Animal Research Center has helped popularize cattle breeds like Limousine, Simmental and Charlay. They've done a good job getting animals to produce more, but they have to do it with less. The trend in the industry is to really look at the traits that uh, cost and inputs, uh, traits like disease, feed efficiency, um, those kinds of, of uh, issues that were very difficult for us to put together genetic programs, but the genomics era uh, is providing us an opportunity to explore those areas. Yeah, the door jam is still going to have to go in there. Yeah. Individual farmers are adopting technology to handle manure. And we not only get uh, pork chops and bacon out of the hogs, which you all love. We get fertilizer that goes back on the crops that raises the crop again. It's just a really a full circle and I just, you can't hardly find any place that's more sustainable than a livestock operation. A better control of the, uh, of the manure and, and runoff and so it, it's a whole different ball game now we're looking at. This Central City farmer went to great lengths when building a new hog barn. We did an odor footprint so we we took the area, we took the prevailing winds, we took the amount of head capacity that's gonna be in here and you can extrapolate that out and within about 98% certainty know uh, where that odor is gonna be and, and this location uh, still fit within the neighborhood. A University of Nebraska report says expanding cattle on feed 10% alone could bring in three quarters of a billion dollars. Add in dairy and hog farming, the numbers are even bigger. The economic footprint is going to be in the rural areas, and the rural areas are, are, are been suffering the last few decades with a de decline in population. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, rural kids that want to go back home, but uh, finding those jobs can be difficult. So if we can increase uh, livestock production, that can be a, a large market, especially with the industries that go along with it, the packing industries, the processing industry. The world is growing in population and income. Around the world, folks can now afford more meat, and livestock farmers say they need to be part of a solution to feed that growing world. We're always looking for what the consumer wants, and the consumer uh, really likes bacon right now.